Yarana. So it's been quite some time since I've done one of my walk and talk Tahiti videos. So I thought I'd pop on this beautiful fall day here in Canada. As winter is coming, but um, just give you a bit of an update on the islands. So the islands are still open, like pretty much the whole world. We're going through a second wave of COVID, which is very unfortunate, but tourism is continuing on and going quite well down in Tahiti, even though their case numbers are high. Most of the cases are all on the main island. They're not out on the, out on the, uh, the outer islands, so it's, it's quite good. Again, you have to do all your testing with your, your COVID test before you leave 72 hours prior, and it must be the right type of test that can help any of my clients with that. Um, and then on day four, you get tested again. But people are traveling. There's lots of people down there. It's, uh, the resorts aren't sold out, but things are, things are going well. I think I had the nicest uh, comment when I was talking to clients earlier this week who just got back, and they said, for a while, we totally forgot that COVID was happening in the world. And I thought, wow, how amazing. Like, that's <laughs> just such a vacation right now to have that uh, to have that transpire so so that was great to hear so we do have lots of specials and promotions going on um Paul Gauguin cruise lines are sailing so if you're interested in doing a cruise you can do that um, a two-week sale i haven't even put it out yet but a two-week sale was just announced yesterday for select dates in 2021 so let me know if you're interested in doing a cruise and what else is new uh, the Bora Bora Pearl Resort has changed um, names. They've rebranded. It's been fully renovated, reopening. It's now called Le Bora Bora by Pearl Resorts. And the Sofitel has also changed. The Sofitel is um, Imerea, has new owners now. Sorry, I'm just walking through the woods here. <laughs> um, has new owners now. And the owners have changed the name to be the Sofitel so it's just an extra letter, but that was the original name of the Sofitel years ago when it first when it first opened. So it's sort of come come full circle now uh, with the with the new ownership at that property. Um, otherwise, not a lot. Like I say, things are going very well with the resorts. People are traveling. I've got clients just came back. Clients are there now. I've got very good friends in the industry who are there right now, traveling around too. So it's great to see the uh, French Polynesians. Love having uh, having clients coming because it is so much of their of their lifeblood is is the tourism. So it's it's good to have the tourism the tourism back. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. And I know cases are on the rise, but if you're interested, let me know. And otherwise, um, oh, the other thing I was going to mention, insurance, especially in Canada, it's been a challenge to get insurance to cover COVID, but that's not an issue anymore. So the the, the biggest thing is getting the proper tests done. Uh, and for Canadians, if it's tougher to get the tests, we can always fly to LA and get tests done in LA before you leave. I've got a clinic there that does the proper testing. I think they can do it in as short as six hours if you, um, if you pay the money. And then the longer duration, the longer you want to stay, then, it's, uh, then the cost of the testing is cheaper. So that is definitely an alternative. So anyways, that's it for my little walk and talk update here from... Uh, from the beautiful Canadian uh, Canadian fall fall weather, and reach out to me if you have any questions, and have yourselves a, for for everybody in Canada. Enjoy Thanksgiving weekend. It is our Thanksgiving here, and for all my American uh, followers, uh, just uh, yeah, have a great weekend.